Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm Young, and today I want to talk about whether this year we're going to see the end of this kind of phone, brick phone, and see the new era of foldable phones. Let's see what we're expecting this year. So first is Samsung. Samsung will be announcing their new phones on 11th of February with S20 and possibly two foldable phones, Galaxy Fold 2 and Galaxy Z Flip. The original Galaxy Fold, which released in September last year, it released at the price of 1980 and Samsung said half a million units were sold. Wow, I would consider that as a success. And Galaxy Fold 2 is currently rumored to be vaguely similar as Galaxy Fold 1. Some reports are saying that Galaxy Fold 2 might come with an 8 inch display. But what we are excited is the Galaxy Z Flip, this device. So the speculated features, which I'm sure we will find out on 11th of February, will be 6.7 inch vertically folding display. And it may be the first bendable ultra thin glass with 2636 by 1080p screen resolution and 1.06 inch external display with 300 by 116 pixel resolution and two 12 megapixel rear cameras and 10 megapixel front facing camera with photo focus and this hideaway hinge that could keep the dust and crumbs out of the new phone chipset is expected to be Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, 8GB RAM, 256GB internal storage. The battery may be 3300mAh. Wireless charging, it would probably be sold at the price of 1400 The operating system would be based on Android 10, which you guys know support dual screens. So this clamshell design is more or less like the Motorola Razr. Hello, Moto. Motorola Razr is the first foldable flip phone. This vertical foldable phone will arrive on 6th of February very soon with a 6.2 inch screen, 16 megapixel camera and this unique hinge. There are so many videos out and about on YouTube and it does look rather promising and it does surely looks like something that Motorola has produced that actually excite the market in a long while. And the price is 1500 which is more or less similar as the 512GB iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, it's not that cheap, but it has this retrofill in a modern way. And the best thing is because it's foldable, it is easier to put Razer in your pocket. And two other contestants in the market that probably could possibly give some competition are Microsoft Surface Duo, which they call it as a communication device rather than a phone, but you can certainly make a phone call with it. It does come with 360 degree hinge, which is different from other devices that I mentioned before. And once unfolded, the total display is 8.3 inch. So it's a bit like phone slash tablet. They unveiled the product in October 2019. However, it says they'll release the product in the holiday season 2020. So probably not until much, much later in the year. And knowing the price of the Surface series, I'm sure it's going to be pricey just like all the other foldable phones, if not more. Huawei. They did unveil Mate X, but there is a rumor that there is Mate XS coming this year. And the report says it would be probably cheaper and stronger than its predecessor. Although it is reported that it would be a smaller phone, but the screen would still be the same 8 inch size as the predecessor, which actually only launched in China last year, October. Well, we'll have to see what Huawei produced because although Huawei phones cannot access the Google Android apps, it kind of didn't matter because Huawei sold most phones only second to Samsung. This is the list of the phones sold by the top three mobile phone producers. And the last thing talking about foldable, Alibaba. They have patented a foldable phone that's a bit like blanket. So two folding hinges perhaps. So I'm really excited to see what kind of foldable phones we'll see this year. Although I do hope the price comes down because it is rather expensive. But it's cool to see all these big manufacturers exploring the viability of all this folding display, which is the future. So would you consider getting a foldable phone? I want to hear your thoughts. 
and I'll be coming back with more reviews on the gadget. So, see you!